Hi, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker. Welcome to another edition of Doing What Matters, the show where we talk to Phoenix employees about the important work they do to serve the community. Phoenix is a desert city, and we love our trees for shade and for all the other benefits that they give us. And Phoenix is actually a tree city USA, and we have a city arborist, Richard Atkins. Richard, thank you for joining me today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for meeting me out here in Encanto Park. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting. So a city arborist means you are the main guy in the city in charge of trees. And so what does that mean for you on a daily basis? What is, what is a city arborist doing every day? Well, basically overseeing the mature tree and palm care for all city maintained trees throughout you know, the metropolitan area. That includes all street landscape, um, parks, and city facilities. And the city has, I think, over 90,000 trees just in its own property, not to mention all the other trees off the city property. How do you deal with 94,000 plus trees in a job? It is challenging. I mean, we try to route through and do regular scheduling throughout the seasons based on species, but we always have some emergencies that come up. So we just use the resources that we have and try to do the best we can. You have to do a lot of work with multiple species of trees. We're here under one uh, mesquite tree. This is a mesquite tree. Okay, so this is more of a native or it's a more desert oriented. Right. There are a lot of non-desert oriented uh, trees out there. How do you deal with the different kinds of trees and keep them all alive in this harsh climate? Well, it is tough. There's a number of you know, desert adapted trees. We have over 143 species that I've cataloged here in the city. Actually over 60 right here in Encanto Park. So it's just kind of knowing the biology and the cycles of the trees, which ones you can really prune in which season so there won't be a detriment to the tree. You bring a lot of professionalism to this job, but you're dealing with decisions that were made 30, 40, 50 years ago when we didn't know as much about tree care, how to take care of that, yeah, especially as we relate to street, street landscaping and some of the ways trees were planted. Talk a little bit about the changes over time with how we view trees and, and taking care of them. Well, used to trees weren't really a part of what we considered our green infrastructure. They were mostly an afterthought put in on a project and they weren't always given the space that they needed. I mean, people think of the above ground space, you know, the shade, the canopy, the leaf structure, but they don't always think of the below ground or the root zone that is necessary for the tree. When you put a large tree in a small space, you end up getting a small tree or one that needs to be removed in 10 to 15 years. So we've kind of learned from that and design practices have changed to provide more rooting space and expansion for the tree trunk, you know, as it grows over time. Talked a little bit in the opening about Phoenix being a tree city and most people in the United States wouldn't think about a desert city being a tree city, but it's really important here. Tell us about what it means to be a tree city USA. Well, tree city USA, it brings a certain level of status to, you know, our metropolitan area here. When I travel around the states, I always get the jokes of trees, Phoenix, you know, really, you have a lot of cacti. But um, being a Tree City USA, especially for 29 years now, and we've had a growth award for 19 years, which shows that we're progressing in our urban forest management skills, both education-wise as well as management strategies. So it just kind of puts us more on the map and gives us opportunities to learn and to grow with other organizations throughout the state. And it's a great honor for the city. Now, trees aren't just nice to have, they actually provide economic benefit, Indeed. dollar value benefit, and in some places around the city, the Parks Foundation has put up signs on trees saying how much money they represent. How, is, how does that work? How is a tree equal uh, a dollar return to the community? Well, there's a lot of algorithms that have been developed over the last few years. I use iTree, which is a internationally accepted program of where the U.S. Forest Service, the International Arbor Day Foundation have gotten together and they did a lot of studies, developed a lot of methodology for putting a dollar value on the benefits of trees, be it either general aesthetics, be it water runoff control, pollution, particulate matter control okay. for air quality and just general aesthetics and health. And so this wonderful tree we're under is uh, $201 worth of value to every the city year. every year. So throughout the city, people might see tags placed by the Parks Foundation on trees with a dollar value. There's an economic value to trees. Tell us what that means. How is this tree worth $200 a year? Well, most people just think of the aesthetic beauty and the shade factor of the trees. But it's been scientifically proven that you know trees do provide benefits for air quality, stormwater runoff, 
um, property values. So we can put a dollar value to that and we put that on the tags just for educational awareness for the public. That's a great thing for people to look for. Now I hear your office is quite famous uh, in, in uh, Parks Department circles. What's going on in your office? Um, as far as famous, I just have a lot of stuff there. I have a lot of maps because I control the inventory. So I have calls from citizens, calls from departments all day long. So I need to know what's going on and where trees are. Richard Atkins, City Arborist, thanks for what you do for Phoenix and thanks for sharing your passion for trees with us. You're very welcome. My pleasure. If you'd like to learn more information about trees in Phoenix or the Tree City USA Award, go to the website on your screen. For Doing What Matters, I'm City Manager Ed Zirkin.